as you may know, there's only one way to end an episode like this. It's with the Hall of Famer, the guy that's done it more than absolutely anybody ever in this show's history. It's been five years of him gracing our stages all around the country, all around... Uh, all around everywhere, sold out shows his entire career. Every single show he's ever done has been a sold out Kill Tony. He's only known us during the great era of thriving and he's a big part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Memphis Strangler, the Tijuana Tarantula, the Raleigh Rodeo Riot, the Bulgarian Ball Hammer. The uh, uh, Big Red Machine. This is indeed William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> That dude needs to keep the fucking Olive Garden jokes in the restaurant, dumbass. What the fuck was he thinking? Also, y'all will be happy to know the idiot who couldn't really sing that well who called this show a low-rent American Idol. I literally killed him out uh, in the thing back there after the fuck. What a fucking pussy that idiot was. Holy shit. You were nice to him. Oh, and also it has been super tense in the green room. Hans Kim won't even look at... I don't know what happened up here tonight, but he's pacing around up there. He's not making eye contact with anybody. <laughs> Last week, an 85-year-old man stabbed his wife to death for messing up his pancakes. So what's the fucking problem with that? <laughs> Stupid old bitch can't be messing up. I can't get pancakes. Fuck. <laughs> I saw a fat woman described as a plus-size influencer, and I couldn't help but wonder, what is she influencing people to do? Buy more candy? <laughs> Which couches are best to sleep on? <laughs> it's like, we get it, bitch. You're not moving a lot. <laughs> okay, that's my time, Tony. Thank you. William Montgomery. Hell yeah. Absolutely fantastic. A minute, 20 seconds. You did it again. Hilarious the whole way through. Absolutely the standard setter of the show. Looking fantastic. The red to blue ratio. Everything is unbelievable. You have the head of a fucking star. I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. I know you always do say that, Tony. You are built for comedy. You are built to be the machine that you are. Oh, he's eyeballing the people in the front Yeah, row. oh my God. What is wrong with your fucking bitch's stomach, man? What is going oh, on? Why are you... My God. Are uh, you a fucking, fucking influencer that I was talking about, bitch? What, wait, what are you saying, William? What are you... What are you saying? The girl's laughing. I don't know what... I'm not seeing. I have a, I have a bad angle. Stand up. Can you stand up? What is happening? What is going on? Oh my goodness. Oh, ah! she's... <laughs> what is that? No, I'm really asking. Why does your stomach look like that? <laughs> a what? A baby? <laughs> she has a baby hidden underneath her shirt. Baby? Hey, do you know where babies come from, William? Have you ever seen a pregnant woman? Before? I always, I always heard they just, the mailman delivers it to your house, and that's what I always believed, Tony. That there's a stork and a mailman. Wow, and second stork, stork reference tonight. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I bet nobody that would have been if you bet a dollar in Vegas that there'd be two stork references this episode. You could have won three billion dollars here. here. This is the first episode, maybe the second ever in which one stork was ever mentioned. And here we are, our second stork reference of the night. Did you know, were you aware that there was a yeah, stork Yeah, yeah, I heard the earlier? first stork You've reference. You've been watching And the show. I have been, yes, I was yet, watching the meanwhile, show. Meanwhile, a perfect opportunity fell on your plate right then to use a second stork reference. But when you come to a stork in the road... Okay, so... <laughs> Have you never seen a pregnant woman before? You I don't think absolutely I have, Tony. Shocked. I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. It's incredible. Kidding. Saudi Arabian guy uh, who we know, he comes to a lot of episodes. Is that your baby in there? It is? You flew your plane into her tower? <laughs> what? Little Muhammad. Hell yeah. All right. You gave her your Allah, Allah Akbar or whatever? <laughs> what are you, Muslim as well? 
Yeah, what, what are, are you? you? Mexican? Ah! Uh-oh. 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 We got a fucking jihad taco over here. Oh, my goodness. So when's the baby going to come out? February 10th. Okay, look at that. Absolutely. Maybe you can be, it can happen here on Kill Tony. At least there'd be one good delivery tonight. <laughs> you want to blow some more of that smoke in her face? Just let it hit yeah. <laughs> Fuck your baby. Um, do you have a name for it yet? Is it really going to be Muhammad? Mexican girl. You have, you're letting this guy take full fucking control over here? Wow, that is incredible. Oh, really? Five middle names? Oh, wow. Leave it to a fucking Saudi Arabian to have extra baggage. <laughs> Just going to have to check these fucking names. All right. So it won't be... That's, that's a long name to have on the no-fly list. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. So what are Allah the names? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody shot up with testosterone today. <laughs> what are the names? Put the mic in front of his mouth, William. I want to hear this. Here, take that one. Muhammad Maji Sultan Yahya Mfarrih Saeed Al Alayan Al Asiri. Garcia. My God. If there was one more name there, I think uh, Indiana Jones was about to pop up out of nowhere to fucking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very good, Deemer. Quick on the Indiana Jones on the trombone. All right. William. Oh, look at the daydream happening. He's <laughs> rock solid statue. I have had the worst day, Tony. I uh, went to an Enterprise car lot at the airport. And again, I had to get that new uh, credit card that only felons can get because I have no, my, no credit history. So I had to get this. And damned if the rental car that I got for the next week um, wasn't like it was. I swear to God, it was like twenty three dollars over my credit card limit. So I had to have a whole two hour nightmare right before this, trying to talk to the Discover people, trying to talk to the Bank of America Discover? people. You started your first credit. Your first card is a Discover card. Yeah, that's what I was. I've. I've Why? What's funny about that, that's, Red Man? That's weird as fuck. That's weird as fuck. Yeah, William. I have a fucking Discover card. You didn't dude. start with like a, a like a cha- like a well, your bank? I couldn't. What is what is your bank? I actually when I told you all the other day that I didn't have any debt, I actually have a shit ton of debt. In the <laughs> in the 5th grade, I took out all these loans. I had this one friend that was selling a shit to making a shit ton of money on these magazine sales, so I took out like $30,000 in loans, Tony, in the 5th grade. And I'm still paying that shit back. I mean, with it, it's you, ballooned to three hundred thousand dollars. You took out a thirty thousand dollar loan and then started buying magazines so to try to help out. with to alleviate the debt that I was. I was just I was hemorrhaging money. I mean, it was horrible. I'm buying all these magazines. My mom's getting pissed. I have a bunch of Mad magazines. I'm not even allowed to look at Mad magazines. And my mom's like, William, what are you doing with all these Mad magazines in your fucking bedroom? You're not even allowed to look at these things. I'm like, Mom, I'm hemorrhaging money right now. I have $30,000 worth of fucking stock of Mad magazine. Nobody's buying Mad magazine, Tony. I mean, this is mid-90s. Nobody's looking at Mad magazine That's anymore. That's when people were buying it. That's when it was hot. Well, I couldn't find the people. Trust me, I was looking. Uh, but yeah, and God... <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, uh, what kind of car did you end up renting? Uh, a Volvo. Ooh. The safest kind of car there is. So. Oh, you um, like safety. For those yeah, of you I like that, uh, safety. Don't know. William is a very, very lives in fear. A little fun fact about William. This part is one of the true sides of William Montgomery. Yeah, he doesn't I'm... talk about it on stage, but he literally is truly one of the most scared people that we know. <laughs> Refuses to fly on private jets. Yeah, He'd rather is... fly commercial. There's no way you could get me on another private jet. Yeah, right, it scares I the know. shit out of me. They it's, crash. It's crazy. 
it's I have crazy. to yell up here, I think, y'all. If I'm really kind of getting down to it right now after this very mediocre set, I think I yell up here because I am really, as Tony has said, I'm so, I'm the biggest coward you've ever met. <laughs> That's why I look out of my apartment windows literally 24-7. I'm constantly scanning the fucking grounds of the parking lot. I'm the biggest pussy you've ever met. I swear to God. And then I have to, I think, compensate up here when I fuck it. I have to yell up here. I have to compensate. Hey, sir, you want to look at me when I'm fucking talking, you fucking idiot? And I got scared when I was talking about the, the plus size model, and then I looked down here and you're kind of plus size. Ah! <laughs> Wow. But no, I was really scared about that. I come out here and I'm thinking, God, I have this plus size joke. And I look down and... Ugh. Are you looking at the pregnant woman again? I what am. Are you looking at? And I'm kidding, ma'am. Oh my goodness, you're talking to that woman? Yeah. William, what the fuck huh? is wrong with you tonight? <laughs> She's morbidly obese, if you can't oh see her. Oh my God. I'm kidding! She is not. I'm scared right now! You stop it. <laughs> what are you scared of right now? Why are you calling Just, I women? I feel bad, and she has a sad look on her face. I made a mistake. Oh my God, William! That is crazy. I feel genuinely bad right now. It was, was scary when you did it to the pregnant woman. It's a whole different thing when you're doing it to innocent bystanders. <laughs> Well, I was going to take it out on somebody. I was waiting at the fucking Enterprise car lot two hours earlier. So I was gonna, sure she's going to take it out on somebody. So I'm sorry it was y'all. Y'all look like wonderful people. I'm sorry it was y'all. I've been fucking on edge this whole day ever since the Enterprise. <laughs> Maybe you can make it up to them. Maybe you can do a, like a little private meet and greet with the two of them after the show right over here in the corner, huh? How about that? Yeah, my gosh, if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> William in rare form tonight. Very, have you been eating your uh, Kellogg's All Brand Fiber Buds? I didn't eat them today. Uh, I can tell. I can tell you are low on fiber. Oh, he's analyzing the guests. Why do you think guests. that's funny? Oh, Why did you think that was funny? Here he goes. We've seen this before. I don't know which parts are funny. I'm just laughing, man. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the energies of someone that has a Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> You're still looking at the guest. We've seen this before. Sometimes he just eyeballs the guest, makes them very uncomfortable. Who do I look at, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to look at anymore! <laughs> but I wish I did! William Montgomery, okay. ladies and gentlemen. We did it again. Another episode of Kill Tony. The drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt is in. It's amazing. RyanJEBelt.com. Let's look at some local art from the local Chris Rogers. Ooh, a William Montgomery South Park hybrid. That's awesome. I love it. How about a hand for the great Louis Katz, everybody? LouisKatz.com for tickets. Catch him again.